discuss the convergence of the series x plus x square 2 square by 2 factorial plus x cube 3 cube by 3 factorial plus x power 4 4 to the power of 4 by 4 factorial and so on. Okay, here they are given sum of terms. Are they given nth term in the series directly? No. This is they are given 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 terms they are given. Now, we need to write the nth term. So, here un is equal to x to the power of what you are using? 4, 3, 2, 1. It's nothing but 1, 2, 3, 4. If you have 1, 2, 3, 4, x to the power of what I have to write? Common difference is what? 1. So, you have to write 1 into n is n. If you put n is equal to 1, first term is 1. n is equal to second term is 2. Okay, satisfied. n is equal to 3, satisfying. n is equal to 4, satisfying. So, numerator you will have x to the power of n. And 4 to the power of 4, 4, 3, 2, 1. Again, 4, 3, 2, 1 means here you need to write n. Power is what? 4, 3, 2, 1. Power is also what? n. Divided by 4 factorial, 3 factorial, 2 factorial. This is, you don't have anything here. So, you can consider as a 1 factorial. This is 1 to the power of 1 by 1 factorial also you can write. So, 1, 2, 3, 4 again. So, it, you can write as n factorial. That is the reason here you have nth term is un is equal to x to the power of n, n to the power of n by n factor. Since in the given series, you see this is x is greater than 0 only. Okay? x is greater than 0. x is greater than 0 and the natural number also greater than 0. So, numerator greater than 0, denominator greater than 0. Hence, the entire series is that uh, un is a greater than 0. Then series becomes a series of positive terms. Now, this is containing what? Factorial. If we have a factorial, which method we have to go for? Ratio test. In the ratio test, what we need to find? Un by Un plus 1 we need to find. Now, Un by Un plus 1 is equal to. In place of n, you need to write uh, n plus 1. Then you will get uh, x to the power of uh, Un plus 1 value. In place of n, if we written n plus 1, we will get a Un plus 1. This is not a repeated series form. Okay, Just we have to replace n by n plus 1 only. Now x to the power of n plus 1. This is n plus 1 to the power n plus 1 by n plus 1 factorial. Now I want un by un plus 1. For this un by un plus 1 is equal to x to the power of un this is. This is you see un plus 1 you have a numerator by denominator na, we need to write. So this denominator I written in the reciprocal as a reciprocal because it will become n plus 1 factorial by x to the power of n plus 1, n plus 1 to the power of n plus 1, to simplify, okay, for that purpose only we written this is in reciprocal numerator, now you want to cancel this one, you have in un x to the power of n, here you have x power n plus 1, so this x power n plus 1 you can write as x to the power of n into x, this is you have in the numerator n to the power of n, in the denominator n plus 1 to the power of n plus 1, so I want n power n, so take n common, if you take an n common, you will have n to the power of n plus 1 outside, 1 plus 1 by n whole to the power of n plus 1. Next, this is n plus 1 factorial. So, n plus 1 factorial is, here you have n factorial, so n plus 1 into n factorial. Now, this is n, n factorial, n factorial getting cancelled. n factorial, n factorial getting cancelled. n to the power, x to the power of n, x to the power of n cancel. n to the power of n, this power cancel, you will have n extra. So, n plus 1 by, here you see what are the terms, n, 1 plus 1 by n, what is the power of n plus 1, denominator x, numerator you don't have other terms, so 1 by x. Now, again you need to simplify this, this is n you have now, take n outside, then you will have 1 plus 1 by n, so this n, n cancel, 1 plus 1 by n, and this one cancel, then you will have only 1 plus 1 by n, what is the power of n, into x, so u n is equal to, un by un plus 1 is equal to numerator 1, denominator 1 plus 1 by n, whole to the power of n into 1 by x. Now we have to apply limit n tends to infinite on both sides. Now apply the limit n tends to infinite on both sides. So you know that uh, limit n tends to infinite 1 plus x by n, whole to the power of n limit is what? e to the power of x. So this is also same form limit n tends to infinite 1 plus x by n whole to the power of n. What is x here you have? 1. So e to the power of 1 into x. 
So 1 by EX. Now you see this is containing what? E. Limit is containing E. Okay. You have to remember. Earlier we discussed uh, when the limit is containing E and uh, ratio test fails. If ratio test fails, then you have to go for logarithmic test. Okay. Anyway, we will check it here. So here X value we discussed only positive. X we they are given X greater than 0. So X may be 1. X may be E, X may be 1 by E, so whatever it may be the X value, that is the positive. So we cannot decide directly. What we can conclude means, if this 1 by E X is greater than 1, series is convergent. 1 by E X less than 1, series is divergent. If 1 by E X is equal to 1, what will happen, we don't know. So we are putting 1 by E X is equal to 1, that implies X is equal to 1 by E. So X also 1 by E, now sometimes if it is x is equal 1 by e, what will happen, we will see. Where we have to substitute this x is equal 1 by e means, given series we need to substitute. So the series will become n to the power of n. Here you have x to the power of n, x is 1 by e power n. So e power n is n denominator, n factorial. Now again it is containing what? Factorial. So if you have a factorial, you have to go for un plus un by un plus 1. Instead of putting, a, instead of a, Finding un plus 1 and uh, simplifying uh, un by un plus 1, directly we are writing uh, x is equal to 1 by e in un by un plus 1. So you will have like previously you have un by un plus 1 is, is equal to 1 by 1 plus 1 by n whole to the power of n into 1 by x we have. So here in place of x you put uh, 1 by e, it will become e by 1 plus 1 by n whole to the power of n. Why we have to substitute means since it is containing factorial. Even though if you are done, un by un plus 1, you will get this term only. Okay. Now, here uh, e is containing the limit, e containing the limit. Limit is containing what? e. So, go for logarithmic test. Okay. If you have a doubt, if you apply limit and test infinite, apply limit and test infinite on both sides, what will happen? You see? Tell me. This is e by, this is e. So, 1. Test fails. Limit n tends to infinity un by un plus 1 is equal to 1. Which test fails now? Ratio test fails. Ratio test fails. And uh, limit is containing 1 by e x. Nothing but containing e term. So, go for logarithmic test. In the log test. Log test what we have? What we require means? Limit n tends to infinite. Limit n tends to infinite n into log of un by un plus 1 is equal to L. We need to find this limit we have to use. Based on the limit we can say convergent, divergent or test fails. So first I am doing log of un by un plus 1. I know un by un plus 1. So find out log of un by un plus 1. After that multiply with n and lim apply limit n tends to infinite. You will get limit. Okay. Now log apply both sides. Log of this is log a by b form. So log a minus log b. If log a by b is we have, then we can write log a minus log b. Okay. And you see this is log a power n. So you can write as n log a. Okay. Log a power n. So we can write as n log a type. That implies log of un by un plus 1 is equal to log e minus n log of 1 plus 1 by n. Log e value is 1. Log e base e is 1. So, what about the log of 1 plus x expansion? This is in the form of 1 plus x. Log of 1 plus x, we know that x minus x square by 2 plus x cube by 3 minus x to the power of 4 by 4 and so on. Here in place of x, what we have? 1 by n. Now you substitute in this formula. Then log of u n by u n plus 1 is equal to log e value what we consider? 1. So, 1 minus n into this is in place of x, 1 by n we need to write now, 1 by n plus 1 by 2 times of 1 by n square plus 1 by 3 times of 1 by n cube minus 1 by 4 times of 1 by n to the power of 4. Now we have to simplify this. Multiply n inside. So n n cancel. You will have 1. n n square cancel. 1 minus 1 by 2 n. n n cube cancel. Plus 1 by 3 n square. This is. Now you multiply minus also inside. 1 minus 1 cancel. Minus half minus plus 1 by 2 n. Minus into plus minus 1 by 3 n square. Minus into minus plus 1 by 4 n cube so on. Now you have log of u n by u n plus 1. Now you multiply n. And after that you have to apply limit. Multiply with n means you see you will have 
this n n getting cancelled then 1 by 2 n n square cancel minus 1 by 3 n n n cube cancel you will have 1 by 4 n square plus 1 now taking a limit n tends to infinite on both sides limit n tends to infinite uh, n into log of u n by u n plus 1 will becomes limit n tends to infinite this one now as n tends to infinite 1 by n goes to 0 so this series is becomes you see 1 by n goes to 0 no? so this term is 0 this term is 0 and the rest remaining all the terms are 0 except the first term so what will become so limit is 1 by 2 so limit value is 1 by 2 when l is less than so 1 by 2 is less than 1 or not yes if limit l less than 1 in the logarithmic test what we can say series is divergent if l greater than 1 convergent therefore we can say summation un is divergent by which method logarithmic test by logarithmic test if l greater than 1 convergent if l is equal to 1 test fails this is the logarithmic test after watching this video please give your valuable feedback in the comment box thank you for watching this video